Hi, I'm Ron Rabe, market development agronomist with Bayer Crop Science for Southwest Manitoba. This hybrid is called DKC2136 rib. It's the earliest hybrid in our lineup. Going by the numbering system, this would be a 71 day hybrid, about 2025 for heat units. So great early grain option, or if you're looking for very early silage, you could grow this in an area up to eight, as long as you had 1825 heat units minimum. Uh, we really noticed how strong this hybrid got out of the ground this year. Uh, it was a real standout with emergence. Really good uh, um, stock strength on this here, so we're quite happy. That's probably an improvement over some of the other early hybrids out there. Uh, very good late season plant health. It's got a Goss's Wilt rating of 4.7, so very strong on, on Goss's Wilt. And the yield potential for something this early looks really good. So when we get looking at the, uh, the ears, uh, up to 16 rows around, nice long ears. Um, a little later flowering uh, than you'd think for a 71 day, but dries down uh, pretty quick here at the end. So a great, uh, extremely early corn option. Now we're looking at DeKalb 2406 rib and its sister variety DKC 2405, which is just the round of pretty version. The, the rib version gives you uh, control of European corn borer, fall armyworm and corn earworm. And we are seeing quite a bit of uh, corn borer through this area this year, so it's a great option to have it in a hybrid. Uh, so this is a 2100 heat unit hybrid, or about a 74 day hybrid. A little later flowering, um, makes up for it pretty quick with quick dry down later on. Uh, we've liked the emergence on it, really good stock strength, and it holds together very good intactness uh, late into the season, so it fills very well right to the end. And uh, the yield potential is one thing we're really excited about with this. So we'll see an up to 18 rows around, uh, nice ears on this, uh, pretty consistent. Uh, we've seen it in limited testing last year and, and it yielded very, very well uh, in those trials there, especially for its maturity. And the disease package, you know, if you're looking at something like Goss's Wilt, uh, it's rating as a four. So very strong variety for yield. Uh, it's gonna help us in those where you need an early maturing corn hybrid. Uh, if you're looking for an early silage option, this is something you can grow as long as you've got up to a 1900 you a minimum. We're looking at DeKalb 3185 rib. This is an 81 day hybrid, about 2425 for heat units. You could use this for silage in an area where you've got a minimum of 2225 heat units. It already has its silage ready designation from, from testing the last few years on MDR and MDA farms. And that's a good indication you're gonna have really good tonnage, uh, very good feed value and very good digestibility. And it's gonna yield a uh, some of our other uh, checks that we have in here. So strong candidate for silage. Could be something for a little bit uh, later grain. Uh, big girthy cobs, they're about 18 rows around. Uh, nice, good length on them here. So we've seen very good yield potential out of this. Uh, disease package, it um, it looks very strong. It's been nice and healthy right through till, till fall. Uh, Goss's wilt rating of about a five, so, so very good. And uh, you know, average flowering time, uh, dries down pretty quick at the end, so so it looks like a pretty exciting new hybrid in our lineup. Hey everybody, this is Megan with Bayer down in Southern Alberta. I'm standing in my corn silage site near Vauxhall and I'm just going to show you our brand new DKC 3337 rib. So this is an 83 day hybrid, that's what that 33 tells you in the front of the name, add 50 to it is 83. It's an 83 day hybrid and a 2500 CHU. So a really nice product for Southern Alberta. It would also have a great fit in areas of Manitoba and Saskatchewan, I'm sure. Um, but what I wanna show you is just how good this product looks. So it is uh, fairly tall here, I'd say it's about eight feet tall. We've got a really nice ear set. And then I'll just show you here what the ears look like. So. You can see really nice girth, really nice fill on these ears. They're a nice girthy long ear with great tip fill. So I'm really excited to see what this product does this year. It had a great fit in my region last year. It has a really good um, Goss's Wilt rating as well as excellent drought tolerance. So really nice product and look forward to see showing you what it does this year. I'm standing in my corn silage site near Vauxhall and I just want to show you a brand new hybrid. It's DKC 3537 rib. So it's an 85 day heat, uh, 85 day corn and 2,575 heat unit. So really nice product for silage in Southern Alberta. You can see it looks fantastic. Great big ear hanging off here. Um, things look really good. And then I've got a couple 
here I will show you. So they're nice girthy ears on this one. They're nice and long. We have excellent tip fill. And we did have a really cool spring and the early seedling vigor of this product really showed off. So I'm really excited to take this one off again this year and see what it does. It has a good Goss's Wilt rating as well as excellent stay green and dry down. So stay tuned to decalb.ca for more.